Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey guys, it's Slushy. Welcome to Jolly 3. Now this is a game by, uh, who is it? Oh, it's gonna say it here. I guess. Ivan G. Games. Uh, this is a FNAF thing. So I'm excited to see what it is, what he makes of it. I haven't seen Jolly 2 or Jolly 1. Um, but this reminds me a lot of Sister Location. Already. Early demo, okay? So don't think too much of it, I guess. Um, new game. There's the three, but there's no other logo, just a three. So I'm assuming that this is just what he has. Obviously, it's what he has now, because it's an early demo. Um, um, go ahead and play. Not much else to that menu. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. All right. Well, kind of. So you should be facing the main security office. I am. I will. Doesn't I guess the security it's office, office, huh? It's a lot like the yeah, it's more of a control room. If you ask saying. me. Okay, you know what to do. Well, it's a little uh, different. Get in. Well, actually, it's a little different. Get out. Pretty simple, right? Well, <laughs> okay. Not if you don't. Know That's what pretty you're doing. basic, but also kind of mysterious. Oh, it's 12 a.m., eh? Should I ask? Hello there. Alright, so let me explain the machines and the gizmos. The lever in front of you makes the pipe above you excrete gas that fry animatronic circuits. Why would you want to fry the animatronic uh, circuits? Did I mention there are active animatronics in there? Well, now you know. Well, you couldn't even tell him you gave me a briefing before I marched right into my death? That would have been nice. Gas, you open up the camera and click the little front. wrench icon in the top right corner. Open up the camera. What the hell is that? So it was me I'm trying to... <laughs> Apparently it's not just a freaking animatronic killer who killed me as well. This is the maintenance screen. There are a bunch of things you need to keep track of. One of which is yes. gas supply. Once the gas supply is empty, oh, you this is filled by clicking and holding the refill button. I'm liking when this. When you gas, Oops. you will lose oxygen Different. and your body will start intake much faster, temporarily. This will cause the oxygen to go down for a bit. This looks awesome. But it will automatically refill itself. Good job, Ivan G. But these supplies I don't know what the engine is doing. I don't know if it's Unreal or Unity. To fix the gas. Just click Repair to automate I'm sure it's repairs. Unreal Engine. It looks now like Unreal Engine. Now you may notice these beneath the fan screen. screen. Because of the lights. Because of the building has fans. And the pretty graphics. These fans may break from time to time, and you'll need to fix them. These fans may break from time to time. You know what else they break? The button. Repair fan. Whenever FNAF is being made in New York. You won't know what fans are. The facility used to have this feature like where you know what's Who's the voice broken, actor on this? Because it's actually pretty good. Age, sadly. Is it you, I imagine? You have to go to every camera until you're on the room with the broken There's fan. There's the uh, Scott Cawthon one. If you don't them, your vision may go slow. With the cowboy hat, it looks like. Fans excrete oxygen from outside. I guess that's the easy But don't worry, your vision will completely dark. I'm sure I'm going to die a couple of times. You fix the broken fan immediately. But I mean, right, it's I just an early demo, actually. so I'm going to try to complete it for IBG. I really haven't even talked with IMG. I've literally talked with just about every freaking FNAF fan game developer out there. Except for I've, oh god, is there an animatronic in there? Besides Ivan G. Like, there's like few developers that I've not talked to besides Ivan G and Emil Mako. I have not spoken to Emil Mako. Oh god, something's happening and I'm not liking it. I'm dead, aren't I? It's a fun time for anything. That looks like Mangle or Foxy. So now they're out and about complete. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like a Mickey Mouse. From Treasure Island. Okay. You were creepy. Oh, a skull. Oh, where's the crossbones at? Game over. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell by that jump scare and that gigantic animatronic hulking in my room. Okay, let's start up again. I ain't got time to wait. I gotta beat this game. Don't make me listen to that call again, please. Uh, hello? Oh, Can you hear me? I'm skipping. Alright, cool. 12 a.m. already. 
Yeah, see, look how much time passes whenever you skip the stupid call. Okay. So I think what the problem was was I spent too much time on the cameras, indulging in the lovely cameras and views that I was able to acquire there. So they're just gonna sit there in my window the entire night, I'm guessing. If I have that correct, then this is a very boring game that I will regret playing. But I doubt that, because I just saw him in my office, so he moves around. I wonder when I'm gonna see that Funtime Freddy character again. I don't think it's completely uh, fine Funtime Freddy, but it definitely looks a lot like him. Alright, so it's total 48. So it is probably an Unreal Engine game. They're even doing a countdown like Krusty Krab, so that's awesome. One thing I do wish people would do is not have the animatronic. Like, if you're in a room and the animatronic just appears, that's so stupid. Like, you're just sitting in the room and the animatronic just pops up. It's the dumbest looking thing. Like, make it to where this, like, the camera glitches. Like Scott Cawthon's games. Where the animatronic, like, the camera glitches or something. And then the animatronic pops up. That's what makes the games cool. Because you actually see, don't see it before it happens. Like, you see some, you don't know when he could have came in. Obviously, he came in when the camera glitched. But with these games, like, they're just kind of there. Like, you don't see anything in between. Like, there's no camera glitch or static or anything like that. Or lights going off. It's just there, there. Simple as that. Bam, right in your office. I mean, it's still creepy because they're just in your office. That's creepy in of its own. You just pull down the cameras and bam, he's right there. But I think it makes it creepier to see them like on their way to your office. Like Foxy, he makes it terrifying because he just runs to your office in the first game. And you see him moving, which made him so unique from the other characters. But this game, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think of this. Jolly 3, huh? Can't believe I passed. I somehow uh, overlooked Jolly 2 and 1. Maybe they just didn't get as much pub publicity as this one did. I'm not sure. I think I might have seen Jolly on the front page of Game Joel. I don't know if it's jo this this uh, this game or if it's another one. All right. Oh boy. Am I gonna die? Here? Well, apparently I'm not gonna die here. All right. We're still alive and much, well, actually much alive and walking around while well, sitting still in a chair or something. It's like a creepy little shit on dude on the right side. That reminds me of the guy from the park. Camera I, beeping noises are never a good thing. So that character looks like a mix of Chico and Mickey from Treasure Island. It's a cool combination. I don't know if Ivan G worked on any Treasure Island games. I like I like I said, I, I kind of don't know who Ivan G is. And that Foxy character kinda of looks a lot like like a, like maybe like a fun time foxy. Not a fun time foxy, like a fun time mangle. Um Ignite so it's basically looks like like Whoa, hello, get out of here please. No jump scare, please. Thank you kindly. The oxygen's going up. Yeah, I'm sure that gas. Oh, no, don't kill me. Please, God, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't freaking kill me. Don't do this to me, man. Okay, I'm sure that there should be another animatronic in my room. Whoa, what are you? Well, that's the fun time furry looking thing. But it's also a combination of like Bonnie. Come on, load up oxygen. Why does the oxygen take forever? Come on. God, Christ, dude. Wow, like they all appear like right after each other. What's up with that, huh? Should I should I even ask? Not that whoa. <coughs> he looks pretty creepy. Gotta give that to you, I think. You did a good job with the animatronics. Most they don't look cheesy and they look nothing like any animatronics that I've ever seen. Even though I'm comparing them to FNAF characters, they look unique, and I'm proud of that. So thank you for so much for that, IG. If there's anything I can take away from this, it's that you're making a completely unique and totally different game. But using some some concepts from FNAF, which is a good thing. Okay. 
Well, we seem to be very much alive and kicking butt at this game. Ever since the first couple of deaths. I think I only died once. I don't know. I expected to an animatronic to be there. To be honest, checking the cameras is kind of pointless except for refilling the cameras. And I really don't know if you have to refill the cameras to survive. I don't know if that does anything. Like, does refilling the cameras or something keep them in their positions? Or what does it do? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm actually being serious. I don't know. Maybe I should have listened more carefully to that phone call. His eyes are not that creepy when they're that close. He should be at more of a distance. In like a dark corner or something. When he's that close, it's not that creepy. Oh, my dad. <laughs> Whoa, what is, that is luck right there. 6 a.m. right when the power goes out. I looked out here, didn't I? You may advance forward into the... Yeah, I thought that's what I was going to hear. Like a hand unit type of guy. Click here to continue. I will indeed click here to continue. It's slowly disappearing. End of demo. Thanks for playing. You're quite welcome, Mr. Ivan G. It's an awesome game that I very much actually enjoyed playing. It was kind of repetitive after a while, but I understand that's what FNAF games are. You have to deal with the same thing until you complete the game. But I wish that, uh, actually I like what it, what you have going here. And I'm excited for more. Yeah!